Let's see what this thing's all about. All right, I have traction off because I think it's funner. We'll try another one with the traction on, but we'll let's, try it both ways. You ready? I'm ready. Before this video gets started, I do want to mention that there is only eight days left of this giveaway along with $30,000 cash. And I mean, just look at that beautiful Corvette C8 with the Z06 front and rear bumper lowered perfectly. And of course the sunset in the background. I mean, this car just looks absolutely insane. And that's not even the best part, not even the looks. I think it's the sound because that sucker is cammed out. Once it's started, it's a whole different animal. And there's one thing that I did notice. We haven't actually went on an official test drive with you guys with the, with the official tune on this thing. So it's got a brand new tune on it. I say we go ahead and fire that sucker up, hit some streets and show you guys what this thing's about. And there you have it guys, the cammed Corvette C8. This thing is an absolute blast to drive. And there's only a few short days left and this giveaway is gonna be over. And we don't have a Rolex throw in that we're doing this giveaway, but we are gonna do 50 free bonus entries on orders, $30 and above guys. It's basically $50 worth of free entries if you spend $30 and above on goonsquad.com. So don't miss out, check out goonsquad.com, check out all the official rules, copy some gear, get entered, and you might be the one that gets to take that sucker home and rip it around. What happened? Spray paint, man. Hey, my nose is chrome. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna continue working on the Mercedes-AMG GTS. And you guys seen in the previous video where we finally cracked open some aftermarket stuff. Of course, the exhaust, absolutely insane shooting them massive flame balls and of course we opened up some aftermarket body parts as well this right here is going to make this car look absolutely insane i mean just look at all that carbon right there this is the gtr style parts right here and this is basically going to be a track car when we're done with it and it's just going to look absolutely insane but today the main concern is going to be getting some of this pulled out over here so as you guys know the most damage is in the back over here and we haven't even got to pulling we got it up on the frame machine but now today's the day that we're going to try to straighten some of that stuff out and probably even start removing moving some of these pieces and prepare for the new pieces to arrive as for the front i think we might actually start in the front because we do got parts for the front we got the metal frame that holds the cooler so what do you say we just start up front here and tear this whole entire cooling system apart and start welding that stuff in dude. i mean we got to work with what we got and that'd be awesome just yeah. go ahead and knock out because it's a big piece that runs along the bottom and everything and we got to do some aluminum welding so I say we do start with the front dude, end. I think it's gonna be awesome to just get that out of the way and just have this sucker 
maybe go for a little test drive, you know what I mean? Have it ready for a test drive pretty much or have it be able to move around wherever we need to move it around. But anyways, let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and tear this apart and hopefully weld in some good parts. right dude, there stacking dimes man that's crazy but dude we did not start off good let me go ahead and show you guys what we started off with is straight up just bird poop everywhere dude, man straight up poop <laughs> welds but you know what that's what the thing about aluminum is it's pretty tough you gotta oh, have yeah. the perfect settings you gotta set up the wire properly the speed and we finally figured it out yeah finally figured it out after probably like an hour or so i mean yeah. we were just messing with this thing but we started to stack dimes we started welding pieces left and right and that right there that is perfect right there man. yeah that is going to be nice and strong that's exactly what we need oh dude. whoa dude that's tough ain't it that's dude. some strong stuff right there that's exactly what we need to get that brand new piece installed right there for good dude got it all prepped ready to go this piece super easy i mean it slides right in it's going to be easy to weld right up i mean it's all pretty much ready on this side got everything sanded and ready to go we're gonna put it in there weld it all up and then we can actually put our coolers on for good that is know? right and our cooling system is pretty good as we were removing this stuff we were like dang why is there so many radiators there's one two three four radiators just for cooling the motor and the turbos i dude, think turbos i mean those are uh water to air coolers right there dude but look at this mess of hoses man that is just oh, incredible man that just hurts my head just looking at it <laughs> <laughs> exactly i don't know what mercedes was thinking but i guess we'll find out when we're gonna be driving this thing oh you know? yeah 100 percent. i bet it drive. i mean this is a mercedes dude, it's gonna drive they incredible. drive good. oh yeah but another thing is these two tanks right here are separate but they all lead to the same cooling radiators it's weird man it's crazy because when we, we drained one radiator all these tanks drained and by the looks of all these wires everything pretty much connects so i guess you just got two tanks <laughs> <laughs> that is right but anyways i guess it is time to put this sucker back yep. in weld it up right weld it up and uh put our coolers back on for good
Alrighty guys, so it is actually the next day here and this morning a bunch of epic stuff finally arrived some parts That's exactly what we're missing for this thing is a bunch of parts And also we got this sucker welded in right here the radiator bracket and oh my goodness that sucker is tough You guys see me dangling on that sucker and I'm a good 180 man That's or 190 200. I think I weigh 200. No, I'm just kidding. I'm a good 177 Wish that's way stronger than it needs to be. Also, we ordered some stuff off of eBay. These little brackets, believe it or not, you cannot even order from the dealership because these are structural pieces. We found these suckers on eBay, and this is gonna allow us to finish up welding up on this side over here, which that's awesome. And this little piece goes right there. So this bracket, we actually found it on eBay as well. This whole entire bar, can't order that from the dealership. eBay is just coming through left and right. And look at all these parts that we cracked open right here from the dealership right here. We got the hood, absolute beautiful hood right there. It's perfect condition, a bunch of inner fenders. I mean, we went ahead and just ordered every little thing that we need to get this car 100%. We want it to be brand spanking new. We even got like a bunch of little clips, nuts, rivets, all that good stuff. Look at this, Mercedes rivets, dude. This thing is gonna look like nothing ever even happened. And also, look at this right here. This is a pretty cool Mercedes part. It's a vent, but it's got some electronics to it. That's why wild. Do you, why do you need that right there, dude? It's just Mercedes for you. I mean, they'll just use everything. That may be an antenna or something like that. You know what I mean? You never know. But you know what? We're going to plug that sucker up. And also, you know what? We got a rear bumper right there. And then we got even some Mercedes glue right here. This is for some of the structural panels that we're going to be installing. Look at all that, dude. That you, is legit. What is it? It comes with gloves. It comes with some sort of like three-part adhesive dude that's going to be awesome right there this car is going to be rebuilt to original to german spec dude. yeah a hundred percent we even got this piece off of ebay right here i mean that dude, is a big piece that's like is. one of the most important pieces kinda. i can't believe we found this right here dude this is crazy right here this is going to go in that rear section which we might test fit it today after we do a little bit of pulling if we have time but just super happy to have all this stuff trickling in and also um we didn't mention this but yesterday we actually did find out that this radiator was busted and one little area i don't know where it is but pops actually took it to a I think local it's on the other side repair shop right there right there look at that they threw some spatter at it right there hopefully it, it actually uh, holds up yeah so it was awesome. super tiny so we decided to just get that fixed up but dude look at that thing that came in oh that is goodness. awesome man this right here we ordered before the car before we actually got the car but we finally opened it up today that's the deck lid right there we're gonna probably test fit it as well to see how everything lines up when we're doing the framework and everything but that was a super hard piece to find too but we got it off of ebay dude dude that's awesome that's dude awesome. ebay is where it's at sometimes dude, you never eBay, know <laughs> eBay sponsor us please <laughs> but anyways right now i think we're gonna go ahead and probably install our cooling system 100 percent and um not do any more welding today because look at my eye dude Dang, I know I've seen that. What the, were you doing? I don't know. I think even if you're not looking directly at the at the weld, which you're never supposed to, it even burns the side of your eye, which is crazy, dude. It's not good right there. But no big deal. You know what? We're going to keep moving and uh, get this uh, system on right here and maybe even go for a little test rip. paint man <laughs> oh my goodness you gotta be careful with those rattle cans man the pain in my nose chrome <laughs> chrome nose <laughs>
this out guys so we finally did our very first pulls on this amg over here and it's actually looking a little bit better it may not look like it but we pulled out some of the major like damages on here and the next step is to pretty much go ahead and start pulling some of these parts off and start replacing them and then that's when we'll straighten out everything else but as you can tell it needs a lot more straightening because we threw the deck lid on and it shut but it's still pushing up against it but i mean other than that man we're looking solid right man, now we are getting super super close man the rest of it just needs to be replaced yeah. pretty much start pulling some of this stuff off then that's when we'll straighten out the quarter panel see if we can save it all that good stuff but the front end man we went ahead and Ooh. finished up the entire cooling system and everything is topped off looking good all original oem finished all the welding and we even found a little bit of paint that's the same color in a spray can sprayed it in almost oem dude. man i gotta say that turned out absolutely amazing and i don't see a drop dude, or a leak a drop, down there and that fix was perfect and everything is topped off i mean this is awesome man it's completely cooled down all the oils in it, all the fluids are good. This thing's ready to go hit the road, maybe do a little test pull. Dude, you know I, mean? I say we do like a little rip ski right quick with it, like pretty much weight reducted. Hey, it'll be faster right now. You I'm know telling I mean? you, man. <laughs> let's let's get this thing off the frame machine uh, and uh, twist some tires. Twist some tires. <laughs> Go for a ride. Why? It, it won't rev like it used to. Let's see if we can hack into this thing. All right, I think we got it. It was just like 120,000 lots on, but we got down to 20 for now. You know what I mean? There we go. We'll take care of the rest later. Woo, she's ready to rip. you were in lift mode for a second again i hope not all right let's hear it dude everything looks good no leaks nothing dragging i think you're ready to rip dude no 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 sir go back and try again i need to turn off traction control that's what i'm talking about right there that thing was getting sideways That thing was straight up sideways, dude, dude. This thing is fun, dude. Did you hear it? That it sounded, sounded amazing, dude. It sounded so good. Is it fast? It, it's pretty fast, but I mean, it, I was slipping. Mm. All right, I had to hop inside to see what it feels like. Look at the weight reduction we got back there, dude. Gutted, man. <laughs> That's why it's fast. You know, I bet when we put it together, it's not going to be the same. Oh, I mean, it I might know. be. It might Remember be. Remember the Trackhawk? We gutted it, and then we took off. That thing was an that animal. That thing flew. I mean, and it was rear-wheel drive when we had everything <laughs> off. So that thing was just burning rubber, but. But let's see what this thing's all about. All right, I have traction off because I think it's funner. We'll try another one with the traction on, but. We'll let's, try it both ways. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> burnout machine <laughs> that sounded so good though i know it, it's because it's like hollow back there man you might have to remove the trunk lid when we, whenever we drive that's how, the exhaust almost reminds me of like a need for speed exhaust like when you're driving those cars yeah. it has the same sound it sounds so good that doesn't sound like any vehicle that we have dude that's why i like working on different cars because you get to experience different sounds oh, yeah. different feels and just everything like that man it's so awesome yeah even though it has this is the same exact pretty much engine setup as in the g wagon, g -Wagon it's tuned differently oh yeah but these exhaust pipes all they're all conjoined you know yeah. the g wagon yep. they split it apart and they just know? they're short too they're right out the back yeah. so yeah this is this is a beautiful sound dude so let, let's try with the traction on see if you know it grips and it'll take off Okay, this thing is fast, dude. If it wasn't for those little rocks in the road, 
this thing would have took off. Dude. At first, it took off kind of slow because clearly the traction Tur turbos too, you know, in the turbo pull. lag. But dude, once it gripped and once it the it, turbos pulled it up, it was off. it was fast. And the gearing is so like good. It like switches yeah. like you don't even dude, feel it. Honestly. That's Mercedes for you, literally. When you shift gears, man, it's so smooth and it's effortless. You dude, know what I mean? This thing is a beast. I cannot wait to finish it. Dude, I can't wait to tune it up and stuff. I may have to put a little tune on it. You know, a little tune Bigger tune. turbos. Two tunes on it. <laughs> <laughs> That was insane, dude. dude. This thing is fun. It's just a fun, just a car to launch, dude. What? Go grab it. We lost some? Yeah, that plastic right there. Back there. What is that? Oh, shoot. That's what I want to oh, know. Oh, shoot. What is the... Oh, we busted it. Take her home. Take her home. What the heck? thing we do test drives i right. think it's because it it hopped like really hard and you know all that wind was pushing down on it all that g-force yeah dude. it was pushing down on this so this probably just good thing that those things are not that expensive honestly that right there is i think it's like a hundred something bucks yeah good thing it's not these side ones which it, this one's on a little plastic mouse so i can see why it broke off it literally snaps into these look how flimsy they are yeah. you know what i mean that's kind of interesting though Why? i think the bumper actually holds it up like once you have the front bumper it kind of, there's something that slides underneath it that's probably what holds it off but whatever we'll order another one we got our test drive in the next test drive will be a legit one Alrighty guys, check this sucker out. We went ahead and threw on that front bumper, the hood, the headlights, the radiator support, just to kind of see what it's gonna look like. And I gotta say, this thing is probably gonna look absolutely insane. Well, I know it's gonna look insane once it's all painted, all finished up. We kind of just mocked everything up. And oh my goodness, dude, that gets me excited right there. Dude, dude. that looks insane, man. I mean, wow. it's not lined up or anything, but this is just a little test fit. And dude, with the fenders in this front bumper, that's gonna be wild, Dude, man. it just makes it look so mean, much better than the stock GTS look. So we're super excited to just show you guys, but that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. All we need is a couple more parts and we're gonna go ahead and finish up that rear end finish up this front end and before you know it this thing is going to be ripping up the roads but with all that being said thank you guys so much for all the love and support drop your comments and thoughts down below we'll catch you guys next time peace